Hi guys, it's Jody again with Jody Going Keto, and today I wanted to make a video on how I make my bulletproof or keto tea. Um, you can make this also the same way you do coffee. I don't like coffee, my husband likes coffee, so he makes his coffee the same way I'm gonna make this tea. I have lots of flavors of tea to choose from, which I think is fun, coffee to me anyway is kind of pretty much all the same flavor. There's probably a lot of you out there that are gonna be like, no way, she doesn't know what she's talking about, but that's just the way it is to me. So stick around so you can see how I make my keto or bulletproof tea. It's pretty simple and easy. I've looked on YouTube and I haven't found one that is made the same way that we make it. A lot of it uh, includes MCT oil, which we don't, use I would like to use it but where I live it's hard to get access to those things because we live in a small town and it's really expensive at the grocery store so I just haven't got any MCT oil so instead we use coconut oil so stick around to see how I do it Okay guys, so I have, this is my kids oatmeal. I got this at my local discount grocery store for like nine bucks. I was super stoked about that. Anyways, that has nothing to do with this. So here is my tea. Lately I've been uh, really enjoying this Tezo brand. I have the Butterscotch Blondie, the Vanilla Bean Macaroon, and the Passion Fruit one, which I've done hot and cold. Um, it's good both ways. This is also really good. I only have one bag of that left, so I'm kind of just saving that one. Um, it's really, really good the way that I make this uh, this bulletproof tea style. This one is really good with that. Um, I also have this black chai tea, and this one is really good as well. These are all really good. Um, Fireside Vanilla Spice, and this one I don't use very often, this watermelon lime zinger one. I got this for my kids. They wanted it, and they never really drank it. So <laughs> I have yet to try Bulletproof Tea with this. For some reason, I just can't see it tasting as good as these other ones do. Um, so today... I think I'm going to do the Butterscotch Blondie one. Now, this one I tried um, right after I got it, and I didn't like it. It didn't have as much butterscotch as I was hoping for, especially look, looking at the picture. Like, that looks amazing. Um, but then I added two tea bags instead of one, and it was so much better. It was almost like drinking a butterscotch candy. It was so good. So... Maybe you don't like yours as strong as I do, but I recommend using two tea bags with this and this one too to give it a stronger flavor. But that's up to you. Um, so here's everything that I use. I have my big cup here, um, some heavy whipping cream, coconut oil. This is unrefined. So this has the coconutty flavor and smell. Oh my goodness. I can just stand in the kitchen and just smell this stuff all day. It smells like an almond joy. It smells so good. Um, but this has the coconut flavor. If you don't like the coconut flavor, but you want to use coconut oil, um, you can get the refined version of coconut oil and it does not have the smell or the flavor. So coconut oil is so good for you. I suggest if you don't like the coconut flavor or the smell, try the refined version and I'm, I'm sure that you will like it because it doesn't have that taste. Um, then I have my butter in my little chicken dish here and I'm going to use one tablespoon of each of each of these in my tea. I'm going to get my tea or my water boiling over here so I can make my tea and I will come back to you as soon as it's ready. Um, I wanted to show you guys this coconut oil. I've got a glare there. This we get from our Fred Meyer, which is also Kroger. Um, if you're near a Kroger or wherever sells Kroger, this is 30 ounces. This is refined. It does not say refined on here, but it is refined. So it does not have the coconut smell, the coconut flavor 
Um, but it's only like $4.99. Maybe it's $5.99. $4.99 or $5.99, I can't remember. For a good, decent size, you know, 30 ounces, that's pretty good. Pretty good size, for especially for that price. It's not organic or anything like that. But if you need coconut oil, you can't afford organic, this is a good route to go. It's fairly inexpensive, and it doesn't have the coconut flavor. Um, we were getting this for a while because it's cheaper, and we could not find um, the other one, this one here which I get at my local discount grocery store. It's 29 ounces, so it's a little less than the one I get at Fred Meyer, but it is organic and it's unrefined. And we do like the coconut flavor. Um, this one is at my discount grocery store and it's $6.99 when they have it. So we got two jars of this. So we are good on coconut oil for a while because we still have some of this one left. Um, but my husband makes his keto, bulletproof coffee, whatever you want to call it, almost every morning. So we will definitely use this, but it's going to last us a little longer now that we have this, because this is little, little more than half used. Plus we have this one and we have a whole nother jar that we got because $6.99 for organic in this size is a really good price. This is, this is probably just about as good. There's your macros on that one. I'm sure it's probably the same on this one. Oh, I'm going to give this a turn. Yeah. So, pretty much just as good, except this one's organic and has the coconut flavor. Um, I forgot to mention my sweetener. Uh, we use Truvia. Um, I find that the little packets are really handy because they're already like pre-measured out and everything. So I have my tea bags here in my cup and I'm just going to dump these both into the cup. And then when the water is all hot and ready to go, I can just dump it in there and it gets all dissolved and stuff really easily. Make sure if you're buying Truvia that you are not getting the baking blend because that has maltodextrin in it, which is basically the same as sugar. You do not want that in your diet when you're on keto or at all period, really. It's just a terrible uh, artificial sweetener and it's no good for you. It spikes your insulin, raises your blood sugar, all that kind of stuff. You want to stay away from that, especially when you're on keto. So I'm going to dump these into my cup and we will come back to you in just a bit. All right, my water is just about done. I do not like super hot water in my drinks, so I don't even let this come to a whistle. Sounds like it's getting close, so I'm gonna turn this off and pour this in my cup. Now I don't fill this up all the way because I wanna leave a little bit of room in the cup for the liquid and everything that we're going to be putting, the other, the other liquid and stuff that we're going to be putting in the tea. That looks pretty good to me. And I can already smell the butterscotch. It smells amazing. So I usually let this seep for about five minutes. That's what the directions say on the box. <laughs> um, so I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes. And then we will get to the bulletproof part of the tea. Okay guys, my tea is all done brewing and or steeping, brewing, whatever. Um, so I'm going to squeeze the tea bags out. This is not something that you have to do, but I like to do it because I want to make sure I'm getting as much flavor out of this as I can. This is still ooh, really hot. So I'm going to squeeze this out on my two tea bags, plop that over there on a plate. Then next, I have my daughter filming for me right now, my 12-year-old daughter. She says, Mom, let me be your video person. So she's videotaping for me right now. So I got my butter. Get that cord out of the way. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter. And we're going to plop it in my blender. I got an old school blender here. I don't have nothing fancy. Eventually, we would like to get something a little newer and more high tech. But for now, this is what we got. So 
Next, I'm gonna take my coconut oil and I'm gonna smell it because it smells amazing. You guys, it smells like an Almond Joy. I, or Mounds, whatever you, you know, used to like. So I'm gonna take a good amount. That's probably a little more than a tablespoon, but that's okay, coconut oil is good for you. We're gonna scoop that off into our blender. You can get up there on top if you want. Beautiful. Put that in there. Then, I am going to take my heavy whipping cream. You could also use half and half, I suppose, if you want. If you don't want to use heavy whipping cream. Um, I've had people ask me if, the, if it's okay to use half and half. And I'm pretty sure the macros are very similar. Um, but heavy whipping cream, I think, will get you more frothy uh, style. And it also has a little more fat in it, which you want on a ketogenic diet. So we're going to pour, I'm not going to measure this out, I just guess. We're going to pour about a tablespoon in there. And then, this is really thick glass. I've heard of people saying that they've dumped their hot liquids into, into uh, their blender and it broke their blender. Like I said, this is old school, so I think it's probably made better. <laughs> much thicker so I we've never had a problem so anyways I'm gonna dump my tea in there and put my lid on now <laughs> because this is old school sometimes with the hot liquid in here this lid tends to try and pop off a little bit when we hit the blender button so we put a towel over ours real life here okay we put a towel over ours and hold it down really tightly and then blend it so here we go it's gonna get loud because remember this is really old okay. and that is probably good enough and then you can see in there it's nice and frothy and smooth and it looks about the same when you do coffee too just depending on your color you know your roast of your coffee it might be darker my husband's is usually darker then I'm gonna just pour this in here hopefully I left enough look at that perfect that's why you don't fill your cup all the way full so you have enough room for all the good fats that are going back into this and that's it guys put my lid on and I'm still gonna let this cool down a little bit because like I said I don't like my liquid super hot kind of a wimp so like if we went to you know a coffee place I get like the kid hot drinks because I'm a wimp <laughs> anyway so that's how we make Bulletproof tea, bulletproof coffee in my house. Like I said, you can do this with coffee exactly the same. Just brew your coffee the way you like to brew it. My husband has a pour over, so he would take the same kind of cup and he would put his uh, his pour over thing on top, put his coffee in there, let the, the tea kettle do its thing, get the water hot, and then pour the water over top and do, and then he just dumps his coffee in the blender with his coconut oil, heavy whipping cream, um, butter, Truvia, and blends it all the same way that I just did. And it's really simple. It's cheaper than using MCT oil because um, coconut oil is cheaper than MCT oil. MCT oil is good for you. You get those medium chain triglycerides. That's what MCT stands for. Anyways, that's my video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was good information for you. I hope you got something out of it. Um, realize that keto can be super simple. It doesn't have to be super complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be easy and simple. So hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button and watch for more videos. Thanks, guys.